Hello and welcome to Veterans Metals Workshop where we have today a very interesting show on how you display Coast Guard Vietnam Veterans Medals. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop hosted by Medals of America and of course by Medals of America Press. I'm Frank Foster, your host, and today we're going to talk about the role that the United States Coast Guard played in Vietnam a combat operation that, well, just not very well understood in the United States. But we're going to talk about that today, and we're going to show you their role by taking a look at six or seven actual military displays of Coast Guard veterans from the Vietnam War. Well, the actual number of Coast Guard personnel assigned to Vietnam was not very large, maybe 8,000 or so during the entire Vietnam conflict. They did provide some significant combat operations. First of all, in 65, they supplied an entire squadron called Squadron Number no. 1 of 26 82-foot patrol boats. And those patrol the coast of Vietnam and the waterways. They probably inspected a quarter of a million junks and trawlers and other types of nautical craft, cut down on the coastal infiltration by the North Vietnamese, and four serious supply lines down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. By uh, 67, the Pentagon had sent five high endurance cutters to Vietnam, and those provided naval gunfire. And in fact, in 68, they engaged in a big combat operation against enemy trawlers that were coming down the coast and sunk them. That was the largest uh, naval engagement of the entire Vietnam War. Uh, along with everything else from all of these cutters of the 82-foot boats and the other boats that they sent, they turned over about half of them to the Republic of Vietnam Navy as they were teaching them the skills of small boat operations and coastal patrolling. And then the final thing they did was perhaps just as important as anything else, but they installed the buoys into the harbors, especially up the Saigon River. They set up Loran and they made sure that the operations along the coast and even including lighthouses where necessary were maintained and upgraded. So the Coast Guard did all of its normal operations and combat operations and extremely aggressive patrolling. You might notice that was eight bells. Uh, so let's take a look at six or seven Coast Guard Vietnam veterans medals and awards displays to see how they remembered and honored their service in Vietnam. Before we take a look at these display cases, let's review the Coast Guard's Pyramid of Honor. It starts with personal decorations such as this United States Coast Guard Commendation Medal and the United States Coast Guard Achievement Medal. Coast Guard Unit Awards follow personal decorations in order of precedence, such as this Coast Guard Unit Commendation, or this Coast Guard Meritorious Unit Commendation, or the Coast Guard Meritorious Team Commendation, as shown here. Coast Guard Unit Awards are followed in order of precedence by Coast Guard Service Awards, such as the Coast Guard Good Conduct Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, and in this case, the Republic of Vietnam Service Medal, shown here with at least one bronze campaign star. There would always be at least one, sometimes more. And then after this, you would get your foreign decorations and foreign service medals. Also need to point out that not all service awards come with a medal. As shown here, you can have the Coast Guard Sea Service Ribbon, or the Special Operations Service Ribbon, and these come only as ribbon-only awards, and they do not have a medal. Attachments and devices are used to indicate additional awards. In this case, a single bronze star would indicate one additional award or one campaign. The 5 16th silver star on the Coast Guard unit commendation would indicate five awards of this commendation. The gold star would indicate one additional award. The silver pistol indicates excellence in pistol competition. A silver star on the campaign ribbon might indicate five campaigns and so on. The basic awards for every enlisted Coast Guard veteran of the Vietnam War would normally be the Good Conduct Medal. Well, hopefully they would get the Good Conduct Medal. But all would get the National Defense Service Medal, the U.S. Vietnam Service Medal with at least one campaign star the Vietnam Campaign Medal, 
and Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. Officers, of course, and warrant officers are not eligible for the Good Conduct Medal. Very expensive. This Coast Guard Petty Officer Second Class has a very handsome display and puts his ribbons over his medals. He has the Coast Guard Commendation Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, the U.S. Vietnam Service Medal, but ah, he's left off his campaign stars. And he has his Vietnam Campaign Medal and his Rifle Marksmanship Medal, as well as his Coast Guard Unit Combination Ribbon and his Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation. A handsome display. This Petty Officer Second Class also has a very nice display with the Coast Guard Commendation Medal, Good Conduct Medal, a National Defense Medal, and ah, he's left off his campaign stars also. He also has the Vietnamese Campaign Medal, the Rifle Marksmanship Medal, and he's added two commemorative medals, one for the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation and one for Sea Service. And he's also shown his ribbons just over a nice-looking nameplate. A handsome display. This petty officer uses a sleeve insignia of his rate as a focal point in the center of his case, along with his Good Conduct Medal and National Defense Medal and his Vietnam Service Medal. He's missing his Vietnamese Campaign Medal, which may indicate that it wasn't issued to him because the U.S. government does not issue foreign medals. He would have had to procure this. He also has an interesting Arctic Service Medal, as well as a Humanitarian Service Medal to go with his Rifle Marksmanship Medal. An interesting display. I think for another $15, he could put his Vietnamese Campaign Medal in there. This Coast Guard warrant officer has a unique case, especially how he uses his hat brass at the top of his case over his gold cutterman badge and then his ribbons. His medals are unique because it starts with the Coast Guard Achievement Medal, multiple awards of the Coast Guard Good Conduct Medal, his National Defense Medal, ah, he has his campaign stars on his Vietnam Campaign Medal, and as I mentioned earlier, the Coast Guard worked with the Vietnamese Navy, turning over maybe 30 or 40 cutters to them over time. And he's been awarded the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry, the Vietnamese Staff Action Medal, the Vietnamese Civic Action Medal, as well as the Campaign Medal. And he has awards of both the Rifle and Pistol Marksmanship Medal. A really great case that shows incredible service for his time in Vietnam. <laughs> Time out for a second. If you want more information on any of these medals, like the National Defense Service Medal, or the Vietnam Campaign Medal, or the South Vietnamese Campaign Medal, then take a look at these particular videos, and they'll fill you in with all the criteria and background. Okay, let's get back. This Vietnam veteran petty officer first class has done something very unique in his case. He has inserted a combat action ribbon in front of his Coast Guard unit commendation ribbon and good conduct medal. And he's done that because the Coast Guard didn't authorize the combat action ribbon until 2008. And so he just decided that he earned the combat action ribbon, he was going to put it in. And who can deny him for that? He has his good conduct medal, his Vietnam service medal with two bronze stars on it, and he's added a combat action commemorative medal to indicate that he saw combat action in Vietnam. I think it's a pretty cool case. I think this petty officer third class has done a great job commemorating his time in Vietnam because not only does he display his good conduct medal and national defense medal, but his Vietnam service medal has a silver star indicating five campaigns. And he's gone ahead and put in a number of handsome commemorative medals to recognize his service, such as Combat Action, Combat Service, American Defense, the Gallantry Cross Unit Citation, the Cold War Victory Commemorative Medal, Overseas Service, Sea Service, a medal for the Coast Guard in honoring his service and the fact that he had honorable service. It's really a beautiful case. And... He went to a lot of effort, and it covers all of his memories and all of his service. Pretty neat. I'd like to take a moment here and point out that America has a long tradition of commemorative medals. In fact, we didn't have any actual 
federal medals until the Spanish-American War. So a commemorative medal for a ribbon-only award such as combat action or combat service, or in this particular case, a commemorative medal for the Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation or the Vietnam Civic Action Unit Citation. You know, it's pretty cool if you want to put it in your case. Here's a great Vietnam veterans display case that must put a smile on the face of a senior chief petty officer every time he walks by because not only does it exhibit his medals, but every one of his rank insignia from seaman recruit up to senior chief petty officer. And his cutterman's badge, his coxswain's badge, his officer in charge ashore badge, his Port security badge. I mean, he has quite a collection, and it just reminds him of his service and a thousand memories every time he walked by this display. I love the picture of him there with just two little skinny stripes on him when he first went into the Coast Guard. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on our program about the United States Coast Guard operations during the Vietnam War and a chance to take a look at how the Coast Guard veterans who served in Vietnam honored and remembered their service by putting together their mementos and metal displays. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like, or better yet, subscribe. We'll see you at the next video. All of the Coast Guard medals and ribbons shown in this video are available in Military Medals of America. The book is on Amazon or at www.moapress.com or at Medals of America. You'll enjoy it.